You must know a lot about the Wild Hunt, as one of the reigning majesties among mages. Oh, I simply cannot concern myself with folk tales about corpses flying about on intensely emaciated steeds. The Wild Hunt's no myth. See you. it out like hens on their eggs until this mist lifts. It won't just disappear. They say only a spell will lift it. Hmm. I know that face. Hello, damn it. Salutations. looking for the coins. Grown lads with their arses in the air, scavenging around the tents like idiots. Where are these coins from if there wasn't a single one when they were pitching camp? I smell a rat. Sit it out like hens on their eggs. Need some help, Monster Slayer. I want to talk, dog of war. I've heard much about you, Witcher. Greetings. Greetings, Captain. I heard you gained fame during the wars with Nilfgaard. Our fees have doubled since the Battle of Brenna. As it turns out, it was worth risking our necks. Must be fatiguing, fighting all the time. I took a little time off recently. Something along the lines of a honeymoon. But I like my craft. I'm not afraid to admit it. I knew one of your kind once. A woman by the name of Rayla. Killed by an elf's treacherous arrow. She made a mistake. Let her emotions take control. This profession requires cold calculation. I wouldn't mind learning some details about Brenna from someone who played first fiddle there. Constable Natalis commanded the Nordlings. The Nilfgaardians mounted a vicious attack. And if not for us and the Dun Banner, the collected armies of the North probably would have shattered into bits. Luckily, we showed up at the right time, withstood the assault, and came out victorious. We earned every last copper we were paid. 50,000 Nilfgaardians shattered their teeth trying to bite at us. Menno Kohorn, their commander-in-chief, chose death over humiliation. Like in every battle, it was a question of timing, taking advantage of the foe's missteps, and a bit of luck. Is Henselt paying you to wait? Curiosity, it's a new witcher. 
Not the best trait to have in wartime. You don't have to tell me if you don't want to. Death Mole's given us silver-plated weapons and protective amulets. On your advice, as I heard it. We're to observe the mist and, if need be, drive off the Wraiths. Since you're already watching it, pay attention to the size of the cloud. You need to know if it's expanding. Well... How fast? It's almost imperceptible, but it's constant. A foot, perhaps two a day. What does that mean? It means I have to hurry. How many mercenaries you got watching the fog? I've got them spread out in small groups around campfires. And how many we number? Well, that's my concern alone. Does Hensel pay his mercenaries well? Call it professional curiosity on my part. It's no secret a lump sum of 20,000 Novigrad crowns awaits. To be divvied up between those who survive. So the more of you die, the greater the take per head. Yes. Were you here three years ago during the last battle for Vergen? Bradley's blue banner was. They were decimated by mages. The survivors enlisted with us. They weren't eager to talk about it, and we didn't press them. No lack of work for your kind. Mercenary might just be the surest profession these days. Sign of the time. Let's talk arm wrestling. Go on. Bartholomew Bargy sends his regards. Bart Bargy. I remember him. Strong for a peasant. For a peasant. They say you're the strongest arm around here. You wouldn't be talking to me otherwise. How's that? During the Battle of Brenna, I got into a knife fight with an elf guardian commander. That's to say, he had the knife and I had my bare hands. I grabbed him by the wrist, but the blade kept coming towards my throat. He was strong. I lacked stamina. When I felt him weaken, I twisted his arm around and slit his throat. I've worked on my hands, wrists, and arms since then. They all come in handy in my profession. Wanna wrestle me? To challenge Adam Pangret for the championship, you've got to beat the best contenders. Who should I challenge? Martin and Randall are the strongest in my company. Then there's Magnus, the camp blacksmith. I'll try them. Watch out for Magnus. As I see it, he could easily do his work with no tools. It won't just disappear. They say only a spell. I am your humble servant. I have no bloody idea who you might be. these coins from if there wasn't a single one when they were pitching camp? I smell a rat.
to see a dwarf on human reach. Got a well thought out slur ready and waiting. Go on, surprise me. You're a little tense. Tense? <laughs> That's a good one. I, odd looking human, am a prime mercenary, a sapper. I'm not tense by definition. A sapper? Not that kind of sapper. I build field fortifications and war machines. I can fucking throw a boat bridge across a river in half a day. Digging ditches is relaxing, that's what I meant. Hmm. Got any spare parts from those war machines? The decommissioned ones, of course. I need some to make monster traps. Sure. Why wouldn't I? If... Leave me be, father. Leave you be? Your life's at stake. Why, your mother would have my head if anything happens to you. No. This is about my honor. And ply what mother does to you, I'll practice. I must prepare. Leave me be, Witcher. I must train. No time for idle chatter. Dice. Hi. Dice. Who else plays around here? They're Zivik, Madame Carol, and Lesota. But they're masters. They'll only play you if you beat us. Maybe so. Going to the slaughter like a pig for a feast. Damn it! This is a brothel, not a military camp. Are you moved by the Prophet Lebioda's parables? Then spare an Oren for his humble followers.
Having an Orin and not having an Orin makes two Orins. Cheapskate. Are you moved then? Having an Orin and cheap. Are you moved then? Having an Orin and Are you moved then? Having an Orin. Are you moved then? Having an orange. Why? Are you moving? Good luck. Thank you. Please accept this booklet, which will teach you how to live a worthy life. Get a hold of yourself, soldier. Must my devilish blood coat move quickly to his veins? I've no bloody idea who you might be, but I hope you're a civilian. Why did he have to be like me? Stop. Mind if I join you? Think I've the right to stop you from taking a free stool? No right, but you might not want company while you drink. And why might you want to drink with me? Always better to talk business over a tankard. Let me buy a round. All the same to me. Getting sad drunk? Mm-hmm. My son's decided to kill himself. He's decided to duel Lieutenant Avid, known as the Butcher of Sidorus. All in all, that makes him a dead man. Lieutenant Avid? Who's that? A killer. Plenty of those in the army. No. Killing enemies is not the same as slaughtering your own countrymen. The Butcher likes the latter, and he's good at it. The best. They're going to duel to the death? Are you that ignorant? We've been sitting here for weeks. Nothing is happening, and Hen said it don't like that, so he's organized some diversions. You mean tournaments? Not like tournaments, more like murders. Mock battles without the mocking. The jewelers really leave the arena on their own two feet. When our unit learned that Six Company was putting forward the Butcher of Sidorus, there were no volunteers, so we drew straws and it fell to Sven. He can't back out. He can, but he won't. I've pleaded, I've begged, but my son's a stubborn one. The pup's got honor. But what good's honor to a corpse? What if I helped you? What kind of question is that? Could I count on you in return? Save my son, and there won't be a thing I wouldn't do to aid you. I take that as your vow. Where's Sven? Training in front of the canteen, near the mercenary's tent. You'll know him when you see him. Going to the slaughter like a pig for a feast, and there's naught I can do. Relics, artifacts, trinkets, and talismans. Hallowed and highly valuable. I'm interested in objects that belong to the soldiers who perished in the battle three years ago. Not any old things. They have to be magically active. I know how to check. That's not my speciality, Witcher. I deal in relics. Got anything interesting there? Ash from the stake where Sabrina burned. Nails that fastened the wheel of death. Splinters from the wheel. I've also got some metal parts and some of the martyr's garments. Whatever your heart desires. Damn it! This is a brothel, not a military camp. Why did he have to be like me? Why didn't he turn out like his mom?
You're the quartermaster's assistant? Yeah. Great. I want to see the best equipment you have. I've got the coin. The army stands to gain, not lose by me. I should think so. So? You sure you're the quartermaster's assistant? Yeah. I ask because assistants are usually pretty glib. I'm glib. No, you're not. My gal left me. How do you know? She wrote me a letter. Oh, wait a minute. Damn it. She can't write. The bastards. Beavers, not friends. I'll show them as soon as I get home. Snuff-nosed scribes. Counting barley all day. If you get bored, look for diversions. I'll give them diversion. <clears throat> uh, many thanks. At first I thought, go away, emo. But now I see you're a good fellow. So will you help me? I should think so. So? Looking for something? I heard some tough men serving your company. You were right. Care to test that with a little arm wrestling contest? Why not? If you want to wrestle, I need to see some orders. Let's do this. Your paws are strong as a bear's. I'll give you that. Yours are strong for humans, I guess. Hello. What do you want? This your first war? Not a chance. We soldiers never want for work under Hensel. Trouble. What is it? I heard you and your men arm wrestle a bit. What's it to you? That sport's only for the strongest. Do I look like a wimp to you? Truth be told, but I'm willing to test you. If you want to wrestle, put down your orange and we'll get to it. Let's do this.
You're tough. Trouble. Something's brewing. What's wrong with those non-humans? Greetings. I've no bloody idea who you might be, but I hope you're a civilian. Ordred, where are you? Ordred, where are you? Ordred, where are you? Have you heard? You? They've killed Demavent and Faltest of Tamaria. Hush! That's allowed. Hensilk can be touchy. You'd best keep quiet about that. Ordred, where are you? Ordred, cursed place. Bloody what is it, Witcher? <laughs> Who's this Audrin you're calling out for? A Kedwani god of some sort? <laughs> Audrin a god? If you suggested the god of drinking, I might agree. He's a maid. We agreed to meet at the tavern, but he's gone and got lost. If you find him, tell him we're waiting. How will I know it's him? Oh, you'll know Audrin. Nobody quite like that, Con. Audrin! Here, boy! Greetings! Audrin! How's service under Hensel? See anybody complaining? And we don't like busybodies. Audrin! Here, boy! Audrin! And that barking bog! As long as they pay us, Audrey, I'll sit it out. Audrin! Here, boy! Audrin! Who do I spy if not the famed Geralt of Rivia? You seem to know me, but I have no idea who you are. You're worse off for that, for I can make you even more famous. You write ballads or something? I've no notion of songs, but the king's vested me with the task of organizing nightly tourneys. A swordmaster like you must be eager to show off his skills. <coughs> nightly tournaments are a pastime for real men. Does King Henselt have any interests besides fighting? We value knightly tradition in Kedwin. Only jewels in the arena let a knight stay in good form and hone his skills. I'm interested in the Rotfiend contract. Know anything about it? The scum has so far destroyed two convoys of army provisions. Before we arrived, they'd only attacked the local cattle. Since the mist appeared, they've grown bolder and started hunting our patrols. The lads from the company have collected a kitty. Sort it all out and the coin is yours. Still looking for coins? What else am I to do? This mist is driving me crazy. I am your humble servant. What do you want? I collect old coins. Here in the camp? Are you daft? I heard there are some overseas coins floating around. Square with a fish on them or something. Don't know nothing about that. Fuck off. Audrin, where are you? Audrin, where are you? Surely they hired him to take care of the rates on the battlefield. Audrin, where are you? He killed two kings. You think he can't handle the usurper?
What do you want? I heard that Sabrina Glebisig was burned at the stake somewhere nearby. Upon a hill. Folk congregate there to this day. What for? They say it brings luck. But I don't buy that superstitious shite. Greetings. Piss off out of here. You're talking to an elder. So show a little respect, you prick licker. Respect for you? This is no place for crappers like you. Out, I said. Aye, true. Join the pegs in the pen. That's your place. <laughs> Leave. Old Maverick ain't a good companion. Unless you're looking for someone to mock. What I saw back there, that happen often? What's the problem? I've bigger problems to deal with than the camp tramps. My nightmares have invaded my waking life. The specters haunt and hunt me by day. Come on. Nightmares are common. Start at the beginning. One night, I walked to the riverside and sat there, staring at the stars. I must have fallen asleep. I dreamt of my birdie, her milk-white bosom, her gentle voice. I saw and heard her as if she sat beside me, and then that voice became a terrifying whisper. Curdled the blood in my veins. I opened my eyes, but the specter remained. It went on talking, hovering over me, stretching its mitts out towards me. I felt a deathly chill, and then it happened. What? Never been a coward. At the fore and fierce in many battles. But a human's one thing. A specter's another. No other way to put this. I shit myself. Out of fear. Pants right full by the time I got back to camp. Since then, they mock me. Call me the Crapper. I'm not surprised, to be honest. What else? I want to ask away. Why did you go to the beach? During Hensel's last expedition, we stayed in a house there. My unit was on the lookout for Demaven's forces trying to cross the river. I just wanted to recall the old times. So you took part in the campaign three years ago? Took part? I barely escaped with my life. Leva, the brothel medic, saved me. Talk to her if you want to learn more. She knows everything about the camp. What time did the Spectre appear? I went to the beach after my watch, so it must have been an hour before midnight. I've no idea how long I slept, but when I reached the camp, it was dawning in the east. I'll deal with the Spectre, but you should know a Witcher's services don't come cheap. My soldier's pay is meager. Got but a few coins in my pouch and some pipeweed. Will you do it for that? All right.
Get up, you piss pump. Your friends are worried sick about you. What? Where am I? What am I doing here? This is strange. Are you Aldrin? Aldrin, that's right. And that one was a contrant. Not a proper her, you know? I was all la dee da, I'll plow you nice, I says. And she done scream at me, like a broxa. Listen, Audrin, you're so drunk a single spark and you'd be a torch. Now straighten up and shut up or the guards won't let you in the camp. So I says, or I says, square schmer, what square? What the fuck fish do you mean? I wanna plow. And this cunt's prating on about square fish. Tell me about the square fish later. We gotta get you back to your friends. They're worried about you. Me mates? Ulf? Ulf, me brother, where is he? Ulf? Ulf? Calm down and try not to puke on the guards. Calm down and stand up straight. Darn. Up. Oh. Yes, sir. I'm going where I'm going. I'm not going where I'm not going. I'm going. Halt! <laughs> What's that corpse you want to drag into the camp? Private Audrin. He's a. uh. sick. Looks like he slept in a vat full of bones. <laughs> And smells like he fell out of a dwarf's arsehole. Why, you limp arse prick? You saying I stink? Come here! Audrin, shut up. King Henzelt's in danger, and this is the only man who can provide important information. That's right. I'm the fucking only man. The only one. Get it? That's me. Shut up, Audrin. Important information. From him. You better believe it. The commander catches him in the camp in that state, he'll skin him alive. <laughs> then skin me alive for letting him in. The gentleman witch. So I wait here till you come back with coin. Come back. <laughs> all right, Audrin, come on. Where do all these drunks <laughs> come from? Shh, fuck. And the mice? I'm back! I won! Yeah! Shut up, Audrin. Let's look for your friends. 
Aha. See, I'm gonna take me a nap right here. You wick. Audrin, stop fucking around and get up. What? Huh? Who are you? Oh, right. Wait a second. Oh, did you see that? Something just flew past my head. Two tankers, three Bats. tankers, four. Bats. If you're feeling badly woozy, Bats. barf your guts upon the floor. Five tankers, six tankers, you look like a ghoul. Don't fall neath the table, tear your ass to the stool. Ten tankers onwards and your guts are like a stone. Can't even see your prick, it's time to head for home. The cock calls at dawn's light. Damn, he's bloody loud. Suit up, fall in, attack and get well played. One, One tanker, tanker, two tanker, tanker three tanker, tanker, four. You're feeling badly woozy, but you've got to put on the floor. Five tanker, six tanker, you look like a ghoul. Don't fall neath the table, tanker, it's too stool. What? Ten seconds onwards and you're got to light the stone. Audrin, stop fucking around and get up. Cop calls the dawn's like damn he's bloody loud. He's so bloody loud. Suit up, fall in, attack and get well flow. One tanker, two tanker, three tankers, four. If you're feeling badly woozy, bark your guts up on the floor. Five tankers, six tankers, you look like a ghoul. Don't fall neath the table, tear your ass to your stool. Ten tankers onwards and your guts are like a stone. Can't even see a prick, it's time to head for home. The cock calls the dawn's light. Damn, he's bloody loud. Suit up, fall in, attack and get with. Beer! I'm buying. Ever see a witcher spreading coin around? Well, ever. A first for me. It all depends on the company. Hear that, cocksuckers? Now step the fuck away from my best myth. Beer inspires great conversation. No, that was beautiful, what you said. So, <laughs> what are we going to converse about? I came here from Tamaria. I visited once beautiful country. The women there have huge tits. People in Tamaria fear Henselt. They think he'll take advantage of Foltest's death and attack from the west. They're right. <laughs> and while he's at it, Henselt will plow all his other neighbors too. I hear people fear him more each day. Folk fear kings just as ants fear bears, wouldn't you say? Ants are small and stupid. They don't realize that if all the anthills united, they'd easily kick the bear's ass. That's right. Long live the ants! Who are you? I like to know who I'm drinking with. With friends! Your presence here is no coincidence, I sense. I don't particularly like Henselt, and I'm just interested to know what you think of him. There was a time I'd have put me head on the block for him. Was? Wouldn't be around if it wasn't for Henselt. It's true. He saved me old man in battle. Pop just lost an eye and his right hand. But not his bollocks. He'd not do that now. He don't look to his soldiers no more. Forgotten us, the ingrate. Well, it's no surprise they want to get rid of him, huh? Audrin, shut it. Geralt's like a brother. I'll keep no secrets from him. Who are you talking about? A knave, greedy and cruel. Kills for pleasure. A son of a bitch is magic armor and plays tough. Thought he could do what he pleased until he caught Deathmold's eye. Now he's hiding. 
Too bad about them other lads. If Trot's caught, he'll give them all up. Heads will roll, I tell ya. Some peoples have come together to plot. They wanted me to join them, but I was too busy. And I don't trust this Trot. Them other coiners is all right, but Vincent's a greedy sadist. Where can I find them? What you mean, where? The brothel, of course. Ask for whistling Wendy. I'm not looking for a whore. Once you have her, pay attention now. Tell her you want her smile to open the gates of paradise. Get it right. Except you won't get the fucker then. Ah! And give her this. I've no use for this coin. Won't buy me no beer. Wendy'll take you to them coiners. Who's asking? Somebody who just might save your ass. Pass on! I wouldn't play the hero if I were you. You don't know me. I spoke to your father. Ha! <laughs> I'll wager he told you the sad story of Sven, who needs to be rescued. I'm no wandering knight, and you're no princess in distress. I promised your father I'd help you. Then go back and ask his pardon for tricking him. Will you feel better when they kill you? I'll certainly feel worse if I cower out. I'm the last one who'd ask you to do that. What will you do? Summon the Butcher and send him out on an urgent mission to deflower the Virgin of Edirn? No, we'll fight as a pair against Latand and his second. Your honor will remain untouched, like a 12-year-old nun's pedal. Why do you wish to help me? I told you, your father asked me. And you courteously agree. Is that so? Yes. You lie. What difference does it make, really? No talking to the prisoner. What do you want? How did you catch him? We didn't. Nothing to boast of, really. We found him. Barely alive. He was lying in the ravines among the corpses of other squirrels. Terrible bloodbath it was. As if a mad medic slashed him with a giant scalpel. Aiming at their arteries, no less. For there was blood everywhere. Nasty splashes, even high up in the rocks. When was this? Before that ghastly fog appeared. Get anything important out of him? Not really. We salted his wounds, broke his fingers, scorched his feet. But he didn't so much as peep his own name. Tried to bite off his own tongue, in fact. Them elves. Like a bit of suffering, methinks. Maybe he's hoping to be rescued. Not likely. Someone massacred him. The whole unit. That's what the Royal Mages asked him about. Who it was, and where they are now. There's no understanding, Elves. If he answered, we'd hang him quickly. It'd have peace. But he prefers to suffer. Can I talk to him? You're all right. I've heard you've been helping our lads. Talk away, but be quick. If the corporal sees you, he'll have your balls. And ours. Bloody fat girl. What do you want? Information. You from Jorvis' unit? And proud of it. 
Jorvis will avenge me. Maybe. I'm responsible for you being captured. I don't understand. I warned Jorvith that the Kingslayer had betrayed him. Your leader's alive because of me. You lie! You're not one of us. Never claimed to be. I'm not interested in your fight, nor in that of the humans. I have my own goals. I'm hunting the Kingslayer and need information. Will you help me? I'd rather not reveal anything to the Dwan. Do you know Elder speech? The Thurman and Rendon's hest. Ev de sale and mess of the madness let. Say a hair. And Ted Verletho came a step than Verner well. Ev to dre a twan. Say it an ox vat gern est. Then a Arthur neck wert. Visser egen. Earl egen. Ken hat mer. Then thar emen dun. Dak man mert. Elisera? Mekian bear hand head fan esert. Ser it near ura yasen head. Erte orcs garte seget en it rothen kemes. Te ern moth diam. Brathain? Ke diables, Brathain verterel. Vesen it rothen deren hensel gerel vurtehen. Then the Dialm Elistrea Hen, the Merce Herf. The Kelm in the Trees. And Herf at Kianya Esme, yet Verf. See Eft and Kien a Diable at Ars Kied. Can yes, the Treas. Messem Treacle. Vafel. When Earl of that girl in the handling of Quen, let me say, Oxen and Serret is the Earl of Quen. Well, Merth Quinblade, Kenneth Belk, well, then a Merth Quinblade. Say a disturb Gathis and Threat Winnis. Vafel. Heard out the pleas of the fearful orphaned and Jernian people. And takes Demavent's lands under his protection. In his righteous.